Hey guys, so uh, I am a couple videos behind, so I'm on the bus headed to Quito to meet my buddy Jar Falk, uh, but I didn't make any videos this week because the week was just crazy. And this is the craziest day of the week, Sunday, last week. I went to the raw food potluck that I mentioned in the last vlog. Wow, not what I expected at all. I brought Jesse. Well, okay, first that Sunday, had breakfast uh, after I woke up and got out of the hammock. I had breakfast at the um, market. My favorite breakfast in Vocabamba is the Sunday market. Bunch of humitas and tamales, you know, my favorite. Um, and I got to hang out with Eve and Guinevere uh, on their way up before before they bail because every Sunday Eve comes down and, and Guinevere usually crashes uh, the party and takes a ride up there up to uh, Charlie's Cabana with him because she lives right at the base of the trail. Um, but uh, I did not accompany them up. Instead I went to this Rafu Palak at Matt Monarchs. Matt Monarchs a pretty famous raw vegan guy. I, uh, I used to watch a lot of his videos. Him and Angela. Uh, who Angela just got, had a baby, so congratulations, Angela. But um, he had the best b-ball court, a basketball court I'd seen in forever. And of course, I didn't know about it, so all I brought was sandals. But luckily, my new best friend, Carl, man, yeah, I love this man. Carl is an amazing dude. Um, Mind-boggling. He's He reminds me of a young uh, Griff Green, actually. Yeah, I used to say he reminds me of a young Andrew Griffith, but you know, things have changed now. So, uh, so yeah, uh, he, uh, he was, he let me borrow some shoes. They were a little tight. I got a huge blister on my pinky toe, but that's okay. Um, I played basketball for three hours and, and Jesse came with me to Rafa Pollock, but I kind of abandoned her to play basketball and she just bailed early. Um, and I didn't get to see her off. She left. She left forever to Costa Rica t with a bunch of other Vilcabamba people to this Envision uh, festival. It's like a Burning Man festival in Costa Rica. So I'm sure she's having a great time out there. Um, but uh, so I, I, everyone left after basketball. And for some reason, I just felt like I needed to stay and hang out with Carl because Carl's a really cool kid. And I didn't know if I'd ever get a chance. I mean, really, I was just following my intuition. Uh, I must... Uh, but uh, a good thing I did because it turned into quite the quite the evening. Um, we talked conspiracy theories and all sorts of alien stuff, right? And like uh, what kind, just general you know mythologies on how the world began about Atlantis and all sorts of random stuff like that, you know. And we don't know what's true. It's just it's just fun to talk about that stuff. But then he, then he mentioned, well, I I was already hoping to get some of this. I I heard that he's seen aliens, uh, just just a couple weeks ago, and so I got his report. I I recorded his encounter below. He and his girlfriend Ayla, uh, I I hope I'm saying that right. A Y L A Ayla, she's a really cool girl. Um, she went to uh, an evergreen evergreen equivalent kind of school, and. Uh, I don't know, I, I, the reports will speak for themselves, I'll post them down below, uh, it, it really blew my mind, and then uh, as I'm walking away with the, uh, with, I thought I had my cell phone, but I dropped it somewhere, and I didn't know where, I assumed in the mud, but later on we'll find out that I didn't drop it in the mud, thank God, uh, I just kept trying to, after I dropped it, I was like, I meant, I kept I kept this mantra of Carl's gonna find it dry. Carl's gonna find it dry. Carl's gonna find it dry. Well, and because I because I posted these videos, you can tell that he found it dry enough. So, uh, but yeah, um, I'll keep it short because there's some awesome videos down below that you guys gotta see. I've never got to interview anyone who's really seen an alien. I'm doing my best Project Camelot uh, uh, channeling that I can. So uh, enjoy, guys. Love you all. Bye.